hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good because i am doing great as you guys can see so in today's video i'm going to be answering some of your questions that you guys asked me on instagram and on youtube i was in the mood for chit chat i was in the mood to talk and talk so get ready to hear a lot to listen your ears off <laughs> because i'm really in the mood today okay yeah so the first question i'm going to be answering it's from instagram and it says i'm trying to lose weight and i have seen your journey okay do i really have a journey <laughs> i need tips please let me tell you guys something okay one thing i severely lack and i've admitted this before was i severely lack discipline that's just bottom line the reason why i am still overweight still today is not because anybody's doing me from the village it's not because oh it's in the genes it's in the blood it's genetic my father's people my mother's people hey, hey my father's people are very slim actually <laughs> in fact my father's people are very slim with you know uh flat on me my mom's people okay they are usually on the overweight side but it is not about genetics in my own case me and my own is lack of discipline points blank period okay so i don't really have a journey to even show you guys that's why i'm not showing you guys anything to be honest i always go from you know being serious for one or two or three weeks and then falling off the radar or falling off the handle or whatever for like three four months okay then i jump back into it and i fall back maybe one month you know but the thing is that i am always constantly trying to lose weight that is why i have not gotten to 200 kg yet okay that's all i can say the only reason why i've not gotten 200 kg yet it's because I'm always trying to lose weight. So I'm always, you know, going between. I'm always fighting that battle. That's just the point. But as of right now, I don't really have a journey. Sometimes I try to do intermittent fasting. Sometimes I try to do keto. Sometimes I try to just, you know, mind what I eat. I always, I don't skip to anyone. So just take it from me when I say, once you have discipline, you are going to lose weight. It doesn't matter what you try. It doesn't matter the diet you try. Once you have discipline, if you just exercise and Portion control and do intermittent fasting, it doesn't matter your size, you are going to lose weight. But the problem is, do you have that discipline? If you don't have it, don't even stress yourself. Just just come and just just join my my uh, what do they call it? Join the club, okay? Just join the club. Someone is asking, what is the funniest thing about you? Hmm, what's the funniest thing about me? I think the funniest, okay. Well, I don't know if it's the funniest thing, but maybe what I can consider the funniest thing about me is that. I have a self-confidence, 1000% self-confidence, right? Like, you can't tell me nothing. Like, I feel like I'm the best thing since sliced bread, okay? I am, I am, <laughs> I'm God's gift to the world. Like, just looking at me alone, I am God's gift to the world, right? So, all that being said, I'm actually the most critical about myself, okay? I'm even more critical about myself than I am of other people, right? So, as much as I feel like I'm all that plus more plus extra plus, you know, the glory and more, I'm the same person who can criticize myself. And that's part of why I don't think anybody can really insult me into pain me because there's nothing you want to say about me factually that I don't already know. And any other thing that is not fact is just your opinion and your opinion does not count because I am too much. <laughs> you're yeah, not my god okay so i think that's the, if i could count it as funny the funniest thing about me is the fact that i tell you have i tell you feel like i'm too much but at the same time i can i can insult myself for you don't want to even hear me insulting myself here you'll be like ah, uh -uh, calm down sister how is sex after three kids sex after three kids is actually amazing what are some of your goals you are yet to achieve that keeps you awake. I think making as much money as possible, that's just my goal actually, like trying to make as much money as possible, considering inflation, considering the economy of this nation, considering that so many things are not the way they're supposed to be. Someone is asking, when is the boy coming? He's coming when Cora is old enough to get married, then I'm going to have a son. Second son, when Eva gets married, third son, when Sophia gets married. Um, the next question is, what do you admire in each of your daughters? Hmm. In Cora, I admire her ability to love people. Cora is a very loving person. She's very friendly. She's very loving. She can be controlling. Okay, she can be controlling, which is actually normal with people who are very loving. Because they love you and they like you or whatever, they always want you to do things the way they naturally do, naturally do things, okay? But I love the fact that she's very loving, she's very expressive, she's very friendly. She reminds me a lot of my mom, so I love that about Cora. Not just in behavior, but even in looks and, you know, physical, physical um, attributes. She reminds me a lot of my mom, so I actually admire that. For Ava... I admire Eva's strength. Eva is a very strong girl. Personality-wise, I don't even mean in terms of physical strength, which she does have. 
But personality-wise, she's very strong, she's very calm, she's very collected, she's not a yaga 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 person. <laughs> she's the kind of person that I feel like I relate more to Ava in terms of personality. Funny part, okay, is that sometimes that her personality, which is quite similar to mine, used to annoy me. Because I'm like, why can't you be like a sister who is more, you know, lively? Like, if everybody's playing and laughing, Ava will play and laugh, but not as much as Cora. And I'll be seeing like, like, why can't you be more, you know, sometimes I, I, I fall into that trap. I have to remind myself that first of all, she's like you. And then second of all, she's perfect the way she is, okay? So, Ava is very smart, okay? She's very smart, very calculated, very calm very i don't know how to explain that child is just special it's something i say a lot i keep saying this child is very special all my children are special though but eva there's something about her that is just i don't know it's just different and i like it and then sophia sophia is the cutest child in the whole wild world she has a very cute personality sophia is actually more similar to cora in terms of personality she's more outgoing she's more friendly she's more laughy like if you come to my house here eh, if i play music now and start dancing the two people who are most likely going to join me dance, in fact, they must join me dancing is Sophia and Cora. They're going to join me and we'll start dancing. Eva will just be looking. I'll have to literally tell Eva, Eva, come and dance with us, okay? So it, I also have to remind myself to try and include Eva in things because she doesn't naturally include herself, which is almost how I am. But I don't know. I, I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, how do my parents cope with me being like that, okay? Um... Uh, my husband too is like that as well. In fact, I think she's more like my husband than me. Sophia actually represents her name like to a T. All my kids anyway, but Sophia to a T. Sophia means wisdom, right? Right from when she was born, there was just something wise about that child. It was almost like she was an old soul. You know when you, you see somebody behaving as if they've done this before, like they've been there, done that. That is Sophia. Sophia is an old soul like she's so wise she's so smart she's so wise that's that's all i can explain like let me not talk too much about them if you had another chance would you get married and have a family again what would you do different ah if i had another chance i will get married and have a family again maybe even earlier safe <laughs> oh another thing i would have done is if i had known that i would have had another child like i had a, i would have had a third child if i had known i would have gotten pregnant closer to as in um, Eva's after Eva was born, it was in English. Like I would have spaced in such a way that I would have had my third child maybe a year after one, once Eva turned one year. Do you get? Yeah. Like I would have had my I would have had Sophia earlier if I had known I would have a third, third child. So the next one is I love you so much, Adeze. Thank you. I love you too. Any meet and greet again? I hope I pick. I am. I get picked this time around. Um, I don't think there's a, there's going to be a meet and greet anytime soon. But never say never. But next year i'm sure we're going to have more you know not just meet and greets more activities that involve you know um, our subscribers and our followers rihanna or beyonce rihanna please <laughs> rihanna i love rihanna i actually like beyonce but i actually prefer rihanna because of her business side um the next one is what are the things you do that earn you money excluding youtube i think it's instagram i'm actually a, a full-time content creator so i'll say instagram I would say I'm trying to build other things, child. But for right now, the only thing I oh okay, um yeah, I invest my money as well. If that's what I'll call any extra money, I invest my money as well. But if you mean like earning money, things I actively do to earn money, it is content creation, basically YouTube, Instagram. How do you keep loving your husband after all these years? Me now only two years, and I feel like love. The question is cut off, but I feel like she's saying. It's only two years and she feels like love is dying or something. The truth is that, right, loving your husband is a choice, okay? I know this is cliche, but it's actually a fact. Loving your husband is a choice. You have to learn to love your husband, okay? It is a choice and it is because as human beings, that butterflies in your tummy feeling, that thing that we all usually describe as love, that excitement and attraction and all of that it fades over time okay sometimes it comes up more sometimes it fades sometimes you're not something to annoy you and you won't even have it again sometimes it's something to you know make you happy and it will increase so that butterfly in your tummy feeling actually is not what you should go by when you're talking about love okay what you should call love is choosing to actually you know be there for this person to support this person no matter what to you know, have the person in your corner to work on a relationship no matter what, no matter how what is going on in a relationship, you are always going to work on a relationship, you know, to be on the same theme. That's what I'll call love, okay? So, um, yeah, I don't think, how do I keep loving my husband all these years? It's just a conscious effort. And 
over the years we have actually learned each other better i actually know more about my husband now than i knew earlier i understand some of his behaviors now more than before and also he has changed in terms of listening to me and my complaints and changing i also have changed you know so basically we just evolved as human beings and we just continue being committed to loving each other because that is our commitment okay i hope that makes sense how do you resolve issues with friends i normally just tell them talk it out if i have the opportunity or i forget about it and move on like i'm someone that actually ignores a lot especially when it is not a grave incident like I actually tolerate a lot simply because I beg, sometimes all this too much oh you did this i don't like it this i don't like it sometimes i feel like it's just unnecessary you trying to change somebody who you cannot change okay so it's either you like somebody for who they are or you let them go except it is a grave offense or except something that is serious and here and i cannot talk about it oh i don't like that you did this or you know please don't do this again or ah, why don't you try doing this this way that's just it but if it's just all this normal personality differences you just move on a bit sometimes all those things that you are trying to talk about you are not going to change the person the person is still going to do it again so it's either you want the friendship or you don't want it <laughs> okay it happens with marriage as well some things that are just personality traits that you cannot change so it's either you're going to accept it or you just move on okay and if you're not going to move on then stop complaining about it if you were to be a nigerian artist what genre of music would you be doing i think i'll be doing gospel yeah gospel music is the only kind of music that i can listen to for a very long time what do you think is the biggest thing that has kept your friendship with nello striving i think it is basically respecting each other i think that's just it basically that's, that's the bottom line just respecting each other and also giving each other right so giving your time giving your efforts giving your resources you know to each other is what has kept the relationship going this far i think reciprocating the energy i think that's just it i noticed your ig followers increased and grew tremendously and i knew you were consistent and creative on there was there something you did to facilitate the growth share tips i think yes you actually just share the tips yourself i was i became more consistent and more creative with my reels you know with posting even though now i have fallen off a bit not even a bit i've fallen off i'm not going to lie because it's not easy doing youtube full-time doing instagram full-time doing everything like it's not easy and instagram as you guys know doesn't pay directly like you don't get paid for putting out videos on instagram so <laughs> i've fallen off but yes being consistent and being creative trying out new things going out of your comfort zone you know doing things that you know you think people would like to watch is what actually helped me this person is asking basically if i have you know new plans for my channel yes i do have new plans for my channel i'm working on something with my husband even though not like it was in the video like i asked my husband to tell me to give me video ideas this moment you can give me video ideas where we say i need the whole team to execute okay but yeah somewhere in in somewhere while exploring the ideas he gave me i actually decided to incorporate some things into my channel so starting next year you guys are definitely going to see new content on my channel um god help me now about the podcast to be honest i it wasn't working out for me so i just stopped it that's one thing i've, I've always done even on youtube i try something if it doesn't work out for me i'm gonna stop it okay um then nello ada and nello on court you guys to be honest, I don't know what happened. Like, I think we, we, we went on break for too long. Like, we... So many things came up. We had so many things to do. So many things were happening at the same time. Then we traveled, you know, for our vacation. Then we came back. Then, you know, Nello was busy with stuff. Me, I was busy with stuff. So, we now took so much break that going back to it has now been not easy like scheduling it and all of that hasn't been easy but there are times when that's why i feel like too much break a part of the problem because at times that nello has been here in my office and we've sat down here and gisted from morning to afternoon or from morning to pick up time and we could have just just said that in on camera we could have just sat up and sat down and just said that in on camera but no we, we didn't even think about it you know so um we're going to get back into this into it then my second channel because someone asked me about it my second channel at this reviews why did i dump it i did not dump it though but i received some copyright strikes like i received a copyright strike and i also received some you know warnings and all of that i don't know why i don't know what the strike was initially when i got the i mean what the strike was about initially when i got the strike i actually tried to contest it i was taking the small deal now ah, i'll just contest it and they'll remove it no it wasn't like that though so because of it my channel reached monetization 
like after three weeks or so, it wasn't monetized. I reapplied again, it wasn't monetized. And I had to just stop it, okay? Because at the end of the day, as much as I love doing it, as much as it's a hobby for me, I don't have the time to be doing a hobby that will not pay me, okay? Because I have a full-time job, which is YouTube, which is my channel, right? And Instagram and everything I have to do on top of that. And being a mom and, and all of that, okay? So if I'm going to be taking out time from my busy schedule to do that, then I have to have some type of compensation for it so since they refused to monetize my channel twice i had to just stop and wait so i am waiting for the copyright strike to elapse because it's 90 days after those 90 days now elapse i'll now apply again for monetization if they monetize me then i'll go back if they don't then i'll have to scrap all the content on that channel and start again which is so much work but i'm going to do it because i actually have plans in fact part of my plans for next year based on what my husband suggested my second channel is, is also going to be involved okay it's going to be more entertainment so that is why i am just chilling waiting for them to just you know rectify everything and then i'm going to be back to posting okay so you guys should please bear with me i'm really sorry for how i just dumped it and you know moved on but the truth is that this youtube street is quite difficult it's not easy nah, it's, <laughs> and by that it's easy it is not easy because i know how much time and energy actually put into that channel for it not to pay was really annoying um what do you hate about being married i don't really hate anything about being married though or what do i not like about being married Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> they don't like about being married. I don't know. I think it's just the fact that you have an external person to be worried about. It's not even just being married, even being a mom. Having extra people to be worried about is just... I won't say I hate it. It's just... It is what it is. But sometimes I'm just like... I just wish I was only worried about myself, you know? That's just it. What university did you attend and what course? I love your person. Thank you. I attended UI University of Ibadan and I actually read or studied English. How did you attend or did you attend Nigerian Navy Secondary School? Yes, I, attend, I attended Nigerian Navy Secondary School, NAFSEC, Ojo, from 1999 to 2005 or so. Or so 2000. I can't remember, but I graduated at 2005. I've been in 2005. How does it feel getting out of infertility? It feels great. I'm forever grateful to God. I am eternally grateful to God for rescuing me from the Marie Clay. <laughs> okay. Will Elizabeth have her own channel in the future? Yes, she will have her own channel. The reason why we didn't start it now is because we have to start things slow, okay? Let us start from the one that came earlier first, okay? The person that asked for it earlier, let's start from her, establish her, grow her channel. Once her channel kicks off and, to start, and it starts working for her and she can control it, then I'll now start assisting the second person because, believe it or not, I'm actually very, very involved in their channel, in Amati channel at this point. So, I can't handle two at the same time. Like, I have my second channel, I have Cora and Eva's channel, which is... Anyway, so for another day, then this channel, then Instagram, like it's a lot. So let us build a marriage to a, a stage where she can handle her channel without so much help from me. Then we'll start with, Amara, with Elizabeth's own. Are you planning to have more babies? No, except grandchildren. No, I am not planning to have more babies. Do you wish to have more kids? No. And she's saying, if yes, I wish you twin baby boys i love you and your family so much thank you thank you guys for all your well wishes thank you for wishing more children on me but no i do not want more children i definitely do not even want twins so i now have five children are you, are you kidding me like you want me to die <laughs> i'm not saying that i would die if i have five children no. but i'm just saying like three children is already too much like for real two three children is a lot in this day in this age in this economy in this time in these perilous times in case you don't know we are in perilous times okay having three children is a lot spiritually is draining because you now have three children to pray for three children to look out for three children to 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 raise correctly like i don't think people think about the raising part when they are thinking of having children you think of just the money part it's not just money there's actually a raising and grooming and teaching and 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 controlling parts because you need to control your children at some point there's is a not just controlling there's a i don't have to explain it balancing things out trying to make sure that you're not hurting your child with some of your practices or some of your parenting uh, uh, um, you know skills or ways you're parenting making sure you don't hurt your children making sure that you know what works for a works for b or or knowing that what works for a might not work for b i just told you guys about my children's three different personalities so obviously i, can, I cannot raise the three of them exactly the same way it's a lot so imagine having five so on top of the three personalities I have, and I have two other personalities to actually think about. 
It's a lot, isn't it? In fact, I'm already getting worked up just thinking about it. How do you deal with a husband who does not do chores at home? He believes chores is for the woman while provision is for him. Then let him provide to the max, okay? I can't relate, to be honest, but I have seen it is a very common thing for men not to want to do chores, especially typically, typical Igbo men, okay? <laughs> It's not just Igbo men, but a lot of typical Igbo men, like the ones that are raised in Igbo households or like the way Igbo people raise their men, a lot of men do not know how to, no, they don't even want to. Many of them not even know how to because they never had to do it growing up, right? So if he believes that provision is for him, no wahala, just make sure you are providing every single thing that I need in this life and you must provide it to a max. Like you must provide it in such a way that when I'm doing those house chores, I'm very happy doing them. Okay, hello Ada, how are you doing? Love from London. I'm doing so well, thank you so much. Love to you as well. An advice for a 14 year old content creator and YouTuber, I would say try as many things as possible have fun while you are doing it try as many things as possible do not niche do not okay well you can niche down but do not put yourself in a box okay so you're still young you're still growing your interest might change anything you want to try out try it out okay the next one is what's your advice to early marriage who is your favorite youtuber now i have a video on my channel about early marriage so please go and watch that um is my reacting to Laefa's video with her mom and um, who is my favorite youtuber i have so many favorite youtubers um but youtubers that i watch like by force like it's not a, i must watch their, their videos is the whole nello clan <laughs> okay do you get mom guilt and do you feel it often if you do how do you manage it i get mom guilt from time to time but i don't feel it often and one thing i always tell myself is when i have time for my kids i give them 101% of my time and effort and energy, okay? So that when I don't have time for them, I don't feel guilty, right? So when I am with my kids, I give a lot to my kids. Like I give them my time, my energy. Like they come to my room, they make noise, they spoil things, they scatter things, we just, we laugh, we play, we do things, different kind of activities together when I have the time. So when I don't have the time and I tell them, go and watch your TV or go and watch your tab or just leave me alone, I don't feel guilty about it. I do the same thing with my YouTube channel, okay? When I have the time, I feel so many videos like today is content day so i'm going to film like five or six videos today if i can okay at least two or three videos i'm going to film them today so that the days when i cannot film i'm not going to feel bad i just edit and post or i sleep okay the next question is what is the reason why your in-laws don't visit or appear on your channel don't you feel bad about it no i don't feel bad about it i don't really have anything to ask just want to tell you i love you and your family thank you um, you're looking good. How is your weight loss journey? Any tips to remain consistent? If you get tips, come and tell me. No tips. Just be disciplined. If you have discipline to work for, if you don't have discipline, you're going to be like me, okay? That's just it. Okay, someone says, Hi, Ada. I'm your subby from the US and I really love your channel. Thank you. Especially now that there is something that seems to be added. A lot of pep and positivity and light, maybe. Thank you. I just love to ask how you are able to stay consistent with posting on your channel, sending lights to you and your loved ones. Thank you so much. I've actually answered this question. How I stay consistent is whenever I can, I do too much. Like I do a lot when I can, so that when I can't, because there's always going to be a time when you can't, okay? So that when you can't, you still have content to post or your channel is not so bare because you know, you, you are, you've tried a lot in the past, okay? I think that's basically all I can say. Um, I love you and your family so much. When I come into Abuja, I don't know. I really wish to come to Abuja. I really want to, yeah, come to Abuja and really like, because the last time I went to Abuja, I just passed through. So I really want to go to Abuja, experience Abuja, explore, have fun. I don't know when, but I'll try. I don't know. I don't know when. Let me not even lie. Okay, the next question is, what weight loss method do you find to be most effective for you? And do you still struggle with it? I find that intermittent fasting is the best for me, yet I still can't manage to stay consistent. I have it all documented on my channel. Okay, so for me, um, let me just answer this last question. Intermittent fasting and keto diet actually works best for me. Again, I have the same problem with you, which is consistency. So it is what it is, my dear. Like it's a lifelong struggle that I have just told myself that I am going to continue to battle. And you know, I, I'm, I think the next stage that I'm going to enter now is to actually fast about it and I, I mean by by fasting i mean fast and pray not intermittent fasting i mean like actually fast and pray about it 
to be honest, that is the next thing I am going to do about my weight loss journey, about my weight, about my health. Because at the end of the day, it is obvious that my body is taking control, which is which shouldn't be so, okay? Your spirit and your soul should actually, your spirit in particular, should actually dominate your body. But in my own case, it is obvious that my body is dominating my spirit. So the only thing like I think that I'm going to do now, and I'm going, I, I have to even do it, like it's not about talking about doing it and not doing it, is for me to actually pray and fast and subdue my flesh, okay? That is just what I am going to try and do next, okay? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. It's actually very long, oh my goodness. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.